Now let's look at parametric and vector equations in three dimensions. The use of parameters can be extended to the three-dimensional space. The vector function r of t would just have three sets of parametric e equations. We have the function of t for x, y, and z. The position of any particle in three-dimensional space whose location varies according to the parameter t would therefore consist of the, th of the three components, rt equals x of t, i, plus y t j, plus z t k. So just an extension on that two-dimensional space. x t, y t, z t are the respective components of the position vector at any real value of the parameter t. So let's look at an example. The position in meters of a bird is given by, and we have this vector equation and it's in three dimensions, for t is greater or equal to zero seconds. Determine the position of the bird at t equals zero and t equals 15 seconds. So first when t is zero we want the vector when t is zero, and if we plug zero into that vector equation, we get zero i plus zero j plus zero k, which means the bird starts at the origin. So at t equals zero, bird is at the origin. Uh, now look at when t is 15, we'd have two lots of 15 i plus 0 0.01 times 15 cubed j plus 0 0.5 times 15 squared k, which gives us 30 i plus 33.75 j plus 112.5 k. Finish with the therefore statement. At 15 seconds, the bird is at 30i plus 33.75j plus 112.5k. And if you wanted to think about that as a coordinate, it'd be 30, 33.75, 112.5. Next, calculate the straight line distance of the bird from the origin at t equals 15 seconds to two decimal places. So we have two coordinates. Our first was our 0, 0, 0, um, and then our second, which we just found. So the distance is going to be the square root of 30 minus 0 all squared plus 33.75 minus 0 all squared plus 112.5 minus 0 all squared. Go to your calculator. 14,695.3125, which is approximately 121.22 metres. So therefore, at 15 seconds, a bird is approximately 121.22 metres from the origin. Find the Cartesian equation for the graph represented by each vector function. So look at the x and y component. x equals 2 minus t, which we can arrange in terms of t, get 2 minus x y equals 3 plus t squared, equation 2, sub 1 into 2, we get y equals 3 plus 2 minus x or squared, expand the brackets, 4 minus 4x plus x squared, which gives x squared minus 4x plus 7. And t was an element of the real, so x will be the element of the reals because that is a parabola. Next one, again, break it up into components. x is going to be 1 plus cos t. Rearrange it to get cos t on its own, and that would be 1 minus x. Equation 1, y equals sine t. Equation 2, if we square them both and add them, we'll get sine squared t plus 
cos squared t equals y squared plus 1 minus x all squared. We have our identity. So 1 equals y squared plus, expand our brackets, 1 minus 2x plus x squared. Rearrange to get y squared on its own, and we have minus x squared plus 2x. And x would also be our element, element of the reals.